Hey guys, this is Lightning Waffle. Your favorite so um your favorite source of waffleized entertainment and ah bigger time for Rod Rod out oh, don't die Die No 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 Okay Um just letting you know I'm back um so I haven't really posted anything in the past few days and grass and we're really deep underground but um hmm might be a bad thing. Ah, no, zombie, zombie, no. You know what? That's fine. Oh, I should probably use different sword. Not the iron sword of talkerness. We are so naming a sword of talkerness now. But, um, <coughs> I'm just throwing this out there. How are you? Uh, I'm sorry I haven't been posting too much over the past few days. There's that ender mangy still in there. Yeah, guys, this is literally picking up from where the episode left off, but, um, I'm only doing 15-minute episodes now due to some recent information. Zet has become wild, widely known. Um, I don't know if I looked at it. I, I should, I guess I should really try and kill him. Uh, let's see. I has... I has cobble, and bam, bam, bam. Where'd he go? Okay then. Nope. Come on, buddy. I actually um, what I'm thinking about doing is doing the um. I say, oh, there's a witch. That's bad. <laughs> That's real bad. Oh god, she 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 doesn't she likes me. Um hmm. Um hmm. That's not so bad anymore. But uh is she coming down here? Maybe. Maybe. I see her. <laughs> I see her. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Nope, 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 fine, you know what, you're, you're the only thing that's over here, oh shit, um, hmm, okay, so, I'm not gonna worry about eating right now, um, did she give me anything interesting other than this stick, no she did not, okay, so, considering why I have the chance, I am lacking my shirt. <laughs> That's lovely. Um, but anyways. Uh, let's see. Dig a hole. Judy. And we can make you into dogs. And you're still going to take up the same spot. Make you into sticks. And then top that off and throw that in there. Uh, I have two bows. Both of which need to be repaired. Um, I can eat foods. Because yeah, I am no longer hungry. Uh, I don't plan on making any TNT. Throw you out. Um, leave you there. Keep all that. Don't need the signs anymore. So. Yeah, okay. So, um. While taking this time of fighting the witch derps. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you know that uh, I, I've I've had a pretty interesting day. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna wait for my healthy regen. So I guess I can talk about my day while I do this, which is very boring. But um, my girlfriend came over. Well, I guess I should start from the beginning. I woke up this morning, texted my girlfriend's mom. I was like, "Hey, can she come? Um, can I come surprise her? Because uh, if you didn't know, I'm a very sweet guy. I surprised her uh, a couple weeks ago with um." Um, with coffee, she likes mocha frappa. Um, I just mocha frappuccinos from Starbucks, and so I brought her one without her knowing. And I woke her up. Well, I was texting her mom again and asking if I could do this again. No, come back here. I need juice. Um, honestly, I need to like organize my inventory. I don't have it. Okay. Um, where's this guy at? Because he needs to die. 
Okay. Or he can just howl like any other thing. Um. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I know there's a big cave around here. Hey, look, I found the scatter. Uh, I, I'm not very good with, like, combat, I guess, yet. <laughs> That's cool. Let's go ahead and get all this lit up before anything starts spawning on me again. And then we can pick it clean. But, um, uh, texting her mom and I was asking her. her mom was like, okay, yeah, that's cool. There is a zombie. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, but, uh, her mom was cool with it. Oh, I almost got away with no co with no combat damage from that. Um, but her mom was cool with it. <coughs> so that was cool. And, um, I showed up. And I literally woke her up by being exactly in her face with a coffee in front of me. And I poked her. And she was like, she woke up, she blinked, and she was like, oh, hi. <laughs> it's like, hi, baby. So, um, yeah. And, uh, just for the guys that are like... Man, I'm stuck in the friend zone. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have the one that I want. Um, she was my best friend four years before I asked her out. And she's dated my male best friend. And I've sat through four relationships of hers. Uh, well, I sat through three, I think. Uh, I, said, I met her when she was dating the first guy, and then she broke up, with, they broke up, I don't know, I, I, I waited through four, okay, that creeper just spawned, sweet, oh, nope, there's another one, but, um, <coughs> but, um, once I, once they broke up, I was there, and, she started dating my best friend, which I kind of set that up in the first place, but, um, literally, once they broke, she dated him for a year, and then they broke up, and, um, she dated the first guy again for two years. Two years. Alright, and literally this summer, or this past summer, um, he broke up with her, and I was there, and I had a girlfriend at the time. And I know y'all are going to be like, oh, you broke up with her just to be with her. Well, you know what? Yeah, I've apparently been told that several times. I don't care. I really don't care that uh, that y'all think that or that anybody else thinks that. Because I've been having that thrown in my face a lot. Now, I'm sorry if I'm being a jerk about it, but guys, I just, I, I, just I, I can't care about people trashing me about caring about who I care about. Yeah. And this is literally what I've been, but I was her best friend for four, four weeks, I met four years, uh, four months and like three weeks before we started dating, I'm around in there, and she was like my best friend, she literally, she's the only human being that knows everything about me, like literally she, she's heard it all one time or another, at and you know what? I have no qualms with that, with that, sir. <laughs> I have no qualms with you, sir. So yeah, that's how much I care about that. Well, the, not not about her. I care a lot about her. But what I care about the um fact that you know. Yeah, you know, like what I care about um. <clears throat> what you think when it actually happened. I mean, I just, I can't live with people doing stuff like this anymore. I'm, I'm caught, okay. I guess that is the the first and only time I've ever been fond of a zombie spawning behind me, I guess. I don't know. Um, but, I mean, I've been trashed a lot by my ex-girlfriend, by the girl I was dating at that point in time because of this. But, um, I didn't break up with her because of my, my current girlfriend, my best friend, person that knows me inside and out, all of my faults she knows, right? 
I didn't break up with this other girl for that. And a lot of people are like, yeah, you did, yeah, you did. You know, I, I've eaten that for a while. And I know you guys are going to understand. <clears throat> I know there's going to be some people that are going to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, you broke up with her to be with this other girl. You know what? Nah, you got to do what you got to do, buddy. You know, that's how that's how I think about things. And, I mean, sure, I'll fight for all the right reasons. But, you know, uh, it, it's just all fair in love and war, I guess. You know, but, um... I I just she's one of the best girls I've ever met in my life and I have no qualms with saying that. You know, you might be like, Oh yeah, I know the best girl. That's fine. Guys, that's perfectly fine. You you're with whoever you need to be with, you know. If you don't know who that is yet, then don't fret. You know, that girl the person will come along whether it be a guy or girl. And whether you be male or female or whether it be the same sex or both genders at the same time, I don't know. I, you know, I'm not you, and that's, I don't, I, that's perfectly fine, but not being somebody, you know, you gotta be who you are, you got you gotta fight for what you believe in, and you gotta be waffly, you know, you, you gotta like waffles, cause if you don't like waffles, you, you got some issues there, man, you gotta like some waffles, but um, <laughs> anyways, back on to the, what, what we were originally discussing, I just, you know, She's one of those people, one of those people that you just, you can't forget, you can't take out of your life, because if you do, you'll be afraid that you'll lose them forever, you know, and, um, she, she didn't know that I liked her for four and a half, five years prior to her, but, you know, if you're like, yeah, man, I, I just, this other girl, I want to wait on her, you know, I, I just, I want to wait for her to understand me. I want her to be my best friend and then ask her out. Don't wait. First of all, don't wait. Alright. If she's waiting on you, then you better wait. But if not, then don't wait. <laughs> you know, just move on. And just don't, don't let her fall out of your mind. You know, that's, that's my advice. I'm not saying, I'm not saying stick with a girl until the brutal end because you know that brutal end can be pretty nasty some days that brutal end can just end in bloodshed well not bloodshed but you know that those brutal ends can be pretty nasty you know um keep it keep it the way you see it you know keep it what makes you happy uh, that's just how it goes in my book if I'm not happy, I'm not sticking with her, okay? And just forget, just don't forget about that girl that you care about, you know? That one girl that makes you smile no matter what. Don't forget about her. I don't know how I didn't die from that, by the way. I, I didn't pull any command prompts, I promise. But, um, you know, just don't, don't forget, because if you forget, you're never going to get your chance with her. You know? And don't wait on her. Because if you wait on her, and she's moving on to different guys, and she doesn't know that you want to date her and stuff like that, then once you get in that relationship, you're not going to be on the same level of maturity that she is. And you're going to fall flat on your face. You know, you, you're going to... That relationship is not going to go anywhere. Like, nowhere. Because of the way you act, you know? <laughs> There's no other way around it. By the way, I think that creeper's coming behind me, but we'll find out shortly. You know? But, um, if you don't wait, that's fine. You don't need to. And if you're saying, well, she's you know, already on the same level, that's good. That's what you want to be on, okay? Then you're like, but she's still dating another guy. And don't wait, you know? Don't, don't wait, because if you wait, you're not going to be on the same level anymore, and that relationship will fall flat on its face, and that's just the truth, I, I'm a very truthful person, that's why a lot of people trust me, but, um, guys, this has been me on girl issue, on, uh, relationship issues, I will, I will talk to you later, guys. When in doubt, waffles out. Peace out, guys. This has been Lighting Waffle, your favorite social waffleized entertainment, and I'm out.